got a tea time and uh, I asked the guy, I said, could I get one around you know, 4.15? And I guess what he heard was, sir, could you fuck me in the ass? Because he gave me a tea time that's six minutes from now. Really wanted 40 minutes to warm up. Not gonna get it. That's okay. It's probably for the best. Let's see how how well I play. Completely unwarmed up. I'll stretch on the first tee. And maybe it'll be the best round of my fucking life. It'll probably be average. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I'm out here. I'm doing it. Getting over my fear of not being good enough, you know? I just gotta get out here and just get the cameras rolling. Get the get the golf vlog started. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Well, I went low right. Very stiff, very not loose. Not mad, I'm on a golf course, having a great time. Weather is beautiful. Would I have liked that to not be the first shot of the day? Yeah, I would have liked that, but we're scrambling. You gotta just love the scramble, you know? You gotta play for the scramble. There it is. Well, that was a pretty poor start. Double, double on the first. Completely misread that putt. I think I doubled it yesterday too, so can't be too worried. Not even listening to anything. I have a rule that you gotta, you gotta earn the music or the podcast or whatever you're listening to. I haven't earned it. I haven't earned shit yet. I also was playing rushed because people in front of me, there's people behind me. This is not a low key round. First drive of the day coming up. First drop of the day, low left. That's not my miss. Do I seem stress free to you? Do I seem, seem like I'm having a good time? I am having a good time. This is actually quite fun to film myself. I wish I was playing better. I've only hit seven golf shots today. One of them was a drive, two of them were putts, a lot of them were fucking shanks. It's all good. It's all, it's great. I'm having a great time. Sounds sarcastic. I know it does, but it's not. All right, scrambling again. Live for the scramble. I'm gonna go for it with the three iron. Thread the needle a little. Power fade. Cause I've got nothing to lose. You know? I meant, uh, I meant power draw. I think I just gotta keep my head down. I think I'm getting antsy, I'm playing fast. Just need to relax and just nice and easy. I've been trying to play nice and easy, you know, like club up and hit a 90% shot instead of trying to hit a 110% shot every time. Doesn't always work. Don't always remember to do it. 171 uphill. Calls for an easy six. The amount of times that I've hit an easy six into this green. I knew I could hit a golf shot. I fucking knew it. It's literally shots like those that keep you in the game of golf. Like, okay, did I hit green in regulation? No, I didn't, because I tried to hit a fucking insane draw through the needle of two trees. It wasn't even enough club in the first place, but when you're in the rough and you just hit it pure, you hit it on the green, spins back a little bit towards the hole. God, I am exhausted. Is it because I'm talking? Oh my God, am I in that bad of shape? I am like out of breath. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you're hearing it. This would be such a sick par if I drain this. Absolutely not gonna happen. I'm trying to have a better mental game when it comes to putting because I don't think I'm a great putter, but I'm trying to be positive about it. I'm trying to just, you know, read it from both sides. I didn't do that last time. That's probably why I fucked it up so bad. Because if I, if I just read it from one side, I can see it honestly going anyway. But if I read it from both sides, I usually get it right. <laughs> Is this a mountain? What the fuck? I'm like on a hike. I need to start working out. First putt was uh, way short and just went dead straight, didn't even break, so it didn't help me at all. And then second putt was pretty bad, didn't even read the last one. This is not, uh... is it anyone watching anymore? I don't know why you would. Got a par three here, all I can do is hope for a birdie here. I always use recycled tees. It's about 141, I'm gonna hit a, a, just a smooth eight iron. Eight iron's usually my 150 club, so I'm not gonna try to take anything off, I'm just gonna try to hit it smooth. Looks like that might have gone over. It's a clean contact ball first, I think, but definitely took a big old divot. Let's see when we're up there. Super disappointing, definitely went off. Just a little, uh, just a little too much on that chip. 
and you know it's just those i mean that putt's just right out of the comfort zone you know i'm not mad about how that hole went kind of sucks to hit the green and then go off but i mean already not playing well so what is that like that's expected there's a group of five in front of me and there's a group of i don't know how many behind me i feel like it changes every time i look back but i'm playing with pace i'm playing like i'm trying to go quickly because i feel like i'm holding those people up i'm not there's people in front of me so i just need to relax and just just keep it easy breezy i think these guys in front of me are not good they might even let me play through but i haven't really been on their ass so it doesn't make sense yet check out my shorts fix these today check that out can you see it red stitching Rip the fuck out of those getting out of my van. I'm gonna hit a four iron because it's not even worth driving this hole if you miss right. You're behind a chain link fence and if you miss left, you're already in the shit. So I'm just gonna hit the fairway and be about, I don't know, 140 out. That was a nice shot. That was, again, <laughs> happens what, once a hole, I guess, these right now? But that's a shot that, that keeps you playing. Hit the fairway, nice little fade back into the uh, into the middle. I feel good about that. Good momentum here, real good momentum. Unfortunately, I did not hit the fairway. I came back right a little too far. So I'm about 10 feet into the rough, but totally fine. I am comfortable in the rough. I actually have a pretty nice look at it. Got 156, pin is way left, very close to the bunker, not even worth trying to go for it. So much green on the right, I'm, I'm just gonna aim there. I'm gonna go with a, go with a light seven here. I came out real thin, which might be the might be the story of the day today. Just hitting a little thin, so just gotta keep the head down, just stay relaxed. This is fine, I mean, I could chip from there. I'll be fine. Just an unfortunate lip out there. My chip, it just landed six inches short. Would have been perfect, I think, if it hit the green, but can't be mad. Got a par three here. I think it was like 167 or something like that yesterday. Pins in the same spot. I hit a seven, didn't quite get to the green. It was just short, I think, because it's a little uphill. So I'm just gonna hit a nice easy six. I'm just gonna hit a nice easy six. Hit it too pure, went way over. Over. And that's fine because I'd rather hit a pure shot. I mean, it means my swing changes are working. Just need to trust it. Do I expect to hit every green on a par three? Absolutely not. Would I love to? Yeah. God, I have so much dead grass in my shoes now. Look at that. Just not enough on that chip. So the putt was further than I needed it to be, but I thought I hit a good putt, just slightly off on the reed. If I didn't feel rushed, I would be taking my glove off the putt, but I just, I just am feeling rushed. You want me to play through? Oh, I will. <laughs> that was fine, gentlemen. Just let me play through. So uh, a lot of pressure on that drive. The amount of times that I've hit it exactly where I just did is pretty much every single time, actually. And that's fine. I mean, I'm comfortable here. Made par yesterday in these in the trees. I'll do it again. Would have been so sick to just stripe a drive, though, straight down the middle. This is the type of thing I'm talking about, too, where it's like, who am I to be filming my my self on the course you know like those guys are watching me film myself spray a drive into the trees that's tough that's a tough look gave myself just you know not a lot of time to find my ball because they're letting me play through so i don't want to be an asshole is this it if i do find it, i will play it uh, i don't think that's a ball is it a ball it's not a ball okay there are rakes but I am not using it, and I'm going to plead COVID. Really don't want to take a lot of time setting up this, these shots and everything since they're letting me play through, and I'm not particularly playing well. This is a very honest round. I can't tell if they're pissed at me or not for filming. It doesn't really take a very long time, but maybe I'm just building it up in my head. Uh, that's gonna be such a long putt. That is going to be such a long putt. All right, I think once once I just get through this this green, I'll be enough ahead where I can just kind of calm down because I'm certainly not calm or cool or collected. Damn it, I should have I should have hit a five, and I knew it because I was short yesterday as well. I was on the green, but had about a 30 foot putt. Now I'm gonna have like a 40 foot putt. Oh well, mouth is so dry so much more than a 40 foot putt. 
probably 60 feet. Really pretty though. Ah, God damn it. Really wanted that par, did not get it. You don't always get what you want. One positive though that I can take away is the battery on this camera is gonna last nine holes and I have an extra, which means perfect, just perfect. Looks like it might rain. That would suck. That would definitely suck. I'm gonna try my darndest to string together five good shots here. Maybe even four. Probably eight. I think it's good. I mean, it was headed down to the right and I've never hit it on the right side of this fairway, so who fucking knows? But it came off nice. Morale is high. It is definitely going to rain. Folks, it appears that I have hit a fairway. Oh no. Oh no. I just realized that my rangefinder fell out of my bag, so I'm gonna hit this shot, finish out the hole, and then figure it out. Goodness. It's a fine miss. I was going for it. I tried. Didn't work out. A little rattled about the rangefinder. Wouldn't be the biggest deal if it's gone forever. It kind of sucks. It's pretty old. But I'd say just about nothing is going according to plan. And that's beautiful. Might make birdie here. Might. I might. I don't know. Took the glove off. Look, a par today is basically an eagle. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll finish out finish out this nine and then I'll wait and I'll see if maybe one of them picked up my rangefinder. Uh that'd be that'd be great. And if not, it's all the pro shop? I don't know. Doesn't fucking matter. I made a par. Yeah? My swing thoughts for my driver, I'm trying to close and just uh, swing around, close the club face, turning my body and just not executing. Simple as that, I'm just not doing it. Definitely swinging too hard and not doing what I need to do. That's fine. Faded, I guess, technically sliced since it went further than I wanted it to into the bunker, I believe. That's fine, I've been hitting pretty well out of the bunkers. I am not in the bunker. The bunker is right there and I am right there. Just gonna punch it. Pretty good punch. Kept it low, been trying to practice that since uh, I utilize the punch a lot. I'm trying to actually practice it on the range. This is not a bad spot to be, okay. This is not a bad spot to be 20 feet off the green, up and down for par, fine. Been here before, do I always capitalize? Absolutely not. Do I always try? Yeah, a lot of trying. Trying's my favorite. Fucked that up. Fucked it up real good. Okay, it's unfortunate. Bogey. My uh, thumb is starting to get raw, I think, from pushing the push car one-handed because I carry the camera. Gotta figure out something for that. This might have to be two vlogs. This might be a part one, part two type of thing. And I, I won't know until I edit it. I'm sure it will. I see nine hole course vlogs that are 20 minutes. And I don't think anybody wants to watch that. Let me know if you like them long or not, but I don't think that you would. I'm not trying to make them long. I'm just trying to make them good. And I, I cut out as much as I can without losing context or, you know, anything I deem funny. Anyway, I'll see you next week. There, you know what? I'm pretty sure this is gonna be part one and part two, so I think that should come out Thursday, maybe Friday. Good deal. Love you.
Thank you.